Well, look who's back again with another video. Okay, some, some parts came in today. I'm really happy about it. And uh, this is what I'm working on now is the latch system. See, I drilled a hole in here because originally there was a screw here. And once you slid the pin in underneath, which is down there, once you slid that pin in, which I don't have in now, I got a jack under the trailer. So this pin goes in, and if it's loose, it rattles. And this screw would tighten down and stop the chattering. And that's why that hole is there, to adjust that screw. But now this is what I'm doing. This came in today. And this is going to be welded in to right here. So when the trailer comes down, it's going to hit this, and it's going to latch down. Now it's not sitting quite right, so I've got this little piece of scrap that I've got to weld in here to kind of level off the playing field because there's a dip where they bent it and there's a dip holding the camera. So that'll that'll balance this off and act, act as a brace. So that's, that's how that's going to be in there. So now when the trailer slams down, it's going to automatically latch and I'll have a handle here that I can pull up and release it and tilt it and drive off. Um, so that's what I'm working on now. I just have to weld this in. I'm gonna tack everything in, and then I got a jack. You can see it down there. I got a jack in the back corner, keeping the trailer tilted this way, because it wants to automatically tip down on me, which is good. Because when you get to a lawn, you hit the release, you just drive off, the trailer tilts itself, and the trailer stays tilted down. So when I back up again with the lawnmower, it'll, and the wheels drop into here, It'll tilt the trailer back down, and this will automatically snap shut. That's how it's supposed to work. So that is what I'm doing now. So I got to go grab my welder and get all my stuff together. I just cut this piece out so I can get at all this. Um, and I'll just leave it exposed like that. It's not going to be in the way of anything, so I'm not worried about it. And maybe I'll make some linkage with a handle or something, because if I'm sitting on a lawnmower... You know, so I'm actually, I can release it before I, yeah, I can release it before I get on the mower. So, I'll figure something out. All right, I just tacked this in for now. There's release and there's trip. So, I tripped it. Now, let's see what happens. So, I'll be playing the part of the lawnmower going, bam, 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 bam. Look at that. Now I left the whole trailer up. Wow, that worked freaking perfect. Okay, let go of the damn trailer. All right, so that worked perfect. That's yeah, quite a bit of gap in there, though. How much gap is going to be in there? This thing going to bounce a little bit. I could probably put a spacer in there. So. When I get somewhere, I can just release this like this. Hang on a minute. I can't do two things at one time. This will just tilt like that. We need to get a little grease on that puppy. Now well, that works. Okay, I don't want to move it too much, but I do see quite the gap in there. As you can see it too. I've got a little bit of gap filling in here. So, should have bought one that's a little bit closer. But that's going to work. So I'm going to finish welding it in and then I'll take care of that gap issue in a minute. Well, here's about the end of it. Um, I'm not going to go much further today on it. I was going to hook up some type of remote lever and stuff in here. And it's just too much of a pain in the ass. I mean, when I get somewheres, all I gotta do is grab this and just flip it up and drive off. You know what I mean? And then when I drive back up, I'll just flip it down and lock it. You know? Because it works just this good. There it is. It's locked. I did put spacers in it. I welded my little loops on for anchor points there and there I welded them on 
for tie downs because you figure you try and triangulate it. I mean, one in the back and then two in the front. Where's it going to go? No worries. So that's it for tonight. I had my weld deflector shield under here, but unfortunately, it didn't work. I got a little Bernie mark on my nice carpet. Bernie, Bernie, burn. Oopsie. But this is a carpet that uh, it'll melt like that and it won't go any further. So I've got one loop left and I'll just save it. So that's it for now. I'm going to clean up, put everything away and call it a day. And then uh, tomorrow, if I feel like it, I'll do the wheel bearings because I got all that. I don't know if I showed you. I can't remember. I can't remember what the hell I did 10 minutes ago. So I got my my new seals and I got new bearings. I don't know if I'm going to need them or not. I'll see. But I got them. New seals, bearings. And we'll go from there tomorrow. And then I'll take these tires off and put them shiny guys on. Oh. I'll show you what they look like. My center caps came in, but I ordered another set for my neighbor. But I took mine over and I put them on his trailer first. And you can see them shining from here. Look at that. Look how nice that is. So his trailer is nice and shiny now, his boat trailer. So. That's his. Hi, Noodles. Where's Minnie? What did you do, little shit? You snuck right up behind me. All right. No more mousies. I did hear a chipmunk in here. Come on, guys. I did hear a chipmunk in here earlier. Go check the mousey trap. Go check the mouse. Did we, get, did we get a mouse? Let's go see. Come on through here. Come on. Go see. Did we get a mouse today? Did we get one? No. No, we got a cheese puff in there and some peanut butter. Oh, no mousy. You got no mousy today. Maybe tomorrow. Maybe tomorrow we get a mousy. They're so excited. So excited for mousies. You funny. You guys tell me woof. You gonna tell everybody goodbye? Say woof. Say goodbye. Say goodbye. Here, come here. Spin. Spin around. That's not a spin. Spin it. She's silly pants. Oh, I got a mess to clean up. Okay, that's it for now. Have a good one. Goodbye.